Hey my beautiful dolls, I hope all is well. So this this video is just me installing a wig for my sister-in-law. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm starting off like brushing her hair and I totally forgot to show you guys this um, wig. It was a, I don't know if you call it a U part because it's not really that wide. It's not a closure, it's not a frontal, but it has a little thin T part with um, lace area at the front. So I'm going to really cut the size, but I'm tacking it down with a little bit of the got to be glue hairspray just to hold it down to the hairline. Alright, so we were chopping this up so you'll be seeing us talking throughout this video and she just did my straight back so you're gonna see them look a little bit janky in the back but she just did them so I could install the wig. This was around um, my anniversary weekend, so I was getting ready to go out, but I ended up did not go that day. Um, but anyways, I'm applying the Ghost Bond glue. I think that's the glue that I use for the um, for this install. I'm just applying it, and then I'm just gonna you're gonna see me blow dry it a bit until it gets a little bit clear. Um, actually, this is not the goat ghost one this is another glue by somebody out here in jamaica i got it from one of my co-workers um when i was working out um because she installed wig um so yeah i'm blow drying it to get it set and tacky for the install Alright, so here we are trying to get this hair down on the glue. I was very lazy to get the clip so we can hold it back. So I just had her hold the side so that it didn't um the hair didn't fly into the glue. There's a little bit of lace on it because it was um hard to cut it before putting it, the lace down. Uh, because of how thin it is I had to say all right let me just put this on and then I'll remove you'll see me remove more of the, that little lace that was left over and now I'm just I tied it down for it to melt in as much as possible and I'm spraying it down with conditioner and water to get the curls popping and letting the, the hair team and look how it should look and as I said we were chopping it up but yeah we were having a, a little conversation her and her friend was there and myself um but yeah how is it the 2020 treating you guys i hope it's treating you well this year i hope you can hold me um responsible or accountable i'm trying to do a lot more with the brand moya lovely i want to widen my clientele i want to get more videos up i want to do more with the brand name moya lovely and and i hope you guys can help me by liking subscribing following all the things that i need to do to get the brand name out there um so yeah i hope you guys can help me with that and you'll be seeing a lot more of me hopefully in 2020 and beyond so pray your girl up and support any little way that you can word of mouth is good sharing and liking and subscribing to the channels and the the pages all the pages that i have tiktok instagram and all that
y'all excuse the fat arms in your way but here i'm taking off the lace that was left behind to get it as close to the hairline as possible and without the, the lace showing and all that um you can see that this part is well defined but the hairline the hairline is very obvious that's the wig but that's okay we're gonna camouflage it with a little bit of baby hair so that's what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna take out a little baby hair and form some edges so we can give that yeah it's my hair kind of <laughs> look with this wig um it was a very very soft and nice curls as you guys saw the, the curls are popping after we put some hydration in it it was very lovely um and i'm still cutting off lace hair and she's like taking in everything i'm doing this 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 girl <laughs> yeah i i was trying to get the lace up but it was where it was very much glued down but i was trying to get the lace as flush to the airline as possible she's loving her hair at this moment like you can see that i'm gonna take the hot comb and press it out but as i said i'm taking out a little bit of baby hair edges to camouflage the not frontal look of this wig um it's a lovely curl lovely hair but it needed some lace like lace really brings wigs um apart is it like for you these days with friendship like with covid and so on and so forth how do you keep in contact with your friends how do you keep apart from just sitting and texting or whatever how do you keep up with friends and what is your friend that dynamics like do you have male friends only female friends only do you have a mixture of friend like is it like the girls club kind of um, friendship um what is it like and do you have like that friend that you know just talk about you behind your back and you still keep friends with them i want to know i want to know what the friendship dynamics is like these days um yeah so let's chat about it down below friendship is one of the hardest thing for me right now being a stay at home I'm um, working mom is like I'm either working or I'm home with my child I am not out meeting people like I don't do a nine-to-five where I'm meeting new people I'm just meeting my clients and coming home and that is it like I meet awesome clients like the other day I met this awesome mom um, she is doing like what I call gentle parenting and it was like so lovely to see another parent like parent like that like it's like you sit down and have conversation and empathy for your child when you're when you're parenting instead of the regular traditional um parenting the authoritative parenting of jamaican like um culture and so forth so you guys let me know what it's like we can talk about parenting as well but let's talk about friendship dynamics what is it like how is it like when you're older like let me hear from the older and the the new 20 year olds that um are out there how do you meet friends and what is it like so this generation is like if everybody like they don't speak about friendship these days i don't know new friends or whatever or whatever it is i don't know but let me know in the comment down below here i am just cleaning up after i take took out the the um what do you call it baby ears that i wanted the edges that we wanted i decided to do the final cleanup because i knew i had to clean up but i wanted to see how it would look 
um, before so I'm gonna clean up the edges take off any excess glue or whatever that is showing that shouldn't be there the spray whatever and then we're gonna lay back the edges again all right so this is the final look um, we were supposed to actually do a little cameo moment after i touch up her face but we were over it to the video and at this point i totally forgot but this is the final look as you guys see the edges are ooh, points making it look like a true frontal and pink um but yeah thank you for watching guys and remember to wear the best you for the world to see